Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is a part of our tutorial series on uh, beginner level C++ interview questions. Uh, the topic of today's tutorial is object oriented programming in C++. In this tutorial we will see some fundamentals of uh, OOP and some pillar of OOP uh, uh, programming in C++. So first of all we will see what is an object oriented programming is object oriented programming as name suggests it use object in programming object oriented programming aim to implement real world world entities like inheritance hiding polymorphism etc in programming uh, the main aim, uh, the main aim of o is to bind together the data and the function that operate on them so that no other part of code can access this data except the functions which we are allowing, allowing to access these data members uh, some characteristics of object oriented programming language so most important here is inheritance uh, then we have encapsulation then we have object classes abstraction and polymorphism uh, we will see each of them in uh, detail one by one first of all we have classes uh, the building block of c++ that leads to object oriented programming is classes it is a user defined data type which hold its own data member and member function so it holds two thing first one is data member and second one is member function which can be accessed by used and used by creating an instance of that class and that instance is also known as object for example consider a class of car there may be many cars with different name and brands but all of them will share some common properties like uh, all of them have four wheels speed limit mileage range etc so here car is an object uh, sorry car is in class and wheel speed limit mileage are their properties a car is a user defined type uh, which has data member and member function in this case the data member will be wheels speed limit and mileage and uh, member function uh, will be the behavior of this car for example the uh, when we apply brakes and increase speeds these type of functions are known as member functions we can say that c uh, class in c++ is a blueprint representing the group of objects which share some common properties and behavior Uh, next we have our object an object is an identifiable identity uh, with some characteristics and behavior an object is an instance of the class when class is defined no memory is allocated but when it is instantiated mean when an object is created of that class memory is allocated for that object now we will see an code example of class and object Uh, let's suppose we have a class of person and that uh, person have two uh, data member which are private uh, first one is this character name and then it is int id by the way if you do not define any access specifier then that will automatically be access as a private data member or member function so this character id and uh, Uh, integer uh, sorry character name and integer id is a private data member then we have our public member function which is void get detail uh, then we have our main class Uh, main function inside of which we create an object of this person class first of all we have the name of the class then we have the name of object which is p1 
ऑब्जेक्ट टेक अप स्पेस इन मेमोरी एंड हैव एन एसोसिएटेड एड्रेस लाइक आर रिकॉर्ड इन पास्कल और स्ट्रक्चर इन और यूनियन इन सी लैंग्वेज वन अ प्रोग्राम इज एग्जीक्यूटेड द ऑब्जेक्ट इनहेरिट बाय सेंडिंग मैसेज टू वन एंड अदर ईच ऑब्जेक्ट कंटेन्स डाटा एंड कोड टू मैनुपलेट द डाटा ऑब्जेक्ट कैन इनहेरिट विदाउट हैविंग टू नो डिटेल्स ऑफ ईच अदर डाटा और कोड इट इज सफिशेंट टू नो द टाइप ऑफ मैसेज एक्सेप्टेड एंड द टाइप ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स रिटर्न बाय द ऑब्जेक्ट नेक्स्ट वी हैव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इनकेप्सुलेशन इन नॉर्मल टर्म इनकेप्सुलेशन इज डिफाइंड एज रैपिंग अप डेटा एंड इंफॉर्मेशन अंडर अ सिंगल यूनिट इन ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग इन कैप्सुलेशन इज डिफाइंड एज अ बाइंडिंग डेटा बाइंडिंग वी बाइंड द डिफरेंट डेटा मेंबर्स एंड मेंबर फंक्शन एंड कंस्ट्रक्टर अंडर अ वन क्लास और ऑब्जेक्ट कंसिडर अ रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इनकेप्सुलेशन इन अ कंपनी देयर आर डिफरेंट सेक्शन लाइक अकाउंट सेक्शन फाइनेंस सेक्शन सेल सेक्शन Uh, the finance section handles all the financial transaction and keep the record of all the data related to the finance uh, uh, same wise the sales section handles all the sales related activities and keep record of all the sale now there are uh, now there may arise a situation when for some reason an official from the finance section need all the data about the sales section in particular month in this case he is not allowed to directly access the data of sales section he will first have to contact some other officers in sales section and then request him to give the particular data uh, this is what encapsulation is where the data of sales section and employees that can manipulate them are wrapped under a single name known as sales section so here is a very uh, simple graphical representation of encapsulation in c++ we have our methods then we have our variables encapsulate inside a class encapsulation also leads to data abstraction or data hind hiding as using encapsulation also hide the data in the above, above example the data of any of the section like sales or finance or account are hiding are hidden from one other section uh, next we have the concept of abstraction in object oriented programming languages data abstraction is one of the most essential and important feature of object oriented programming in c++ abstraction mean displaying only essential information and hiding the unusual detail data abstraction refer to provide only essential only essential information about the data to the outside world hiding the background detail or implementation uh, now consider a real life example of man driving a car the man only knows the pressing the accelerator will increase the speed of the car or applying brakes will stop the car but he doesn't know about how on process uh, pressing accelerator the speed is actually increasing he doesn't know about the inner mechanism of car or implementation of accelerator brake etc in the car so this is what abstraction is abstraction using classes we can implement uh, abstraction in c++ using classes uh, the class help us to group data member and member function using uh, available uh, access specifier uh, which i have told you in my previous video there are three type of access specifier in c++ classes first one is public mean it is accessible to the outside world and second one is private for private data we have to define some functions to access that data and third we have protected a class can decide which data member will be visible to the outside world and which is not uh, second we have abstraction in header files one more type of abstraction in c++ can be header files for example consider a, uh, a power method present in a math.header file Uh, uh by the way uh, uh, power uh, is a built in uh, is a built in class uh, by c++ which help us in doing mathematical calculation uh, whenever we need to calculate the power of a number we simply call the function uh, 
present in math.h header file and pass the numbers as argument without knowing the underlying algorithm according to which function is actually calculating the power of number uh, next we have the concept of polymorphism uh, the word polymorphism mean having many forms in simple word we can define polymorphism as the ability of a message to be displayed in more than one form a person at the same time can have different characteristics like a man at the same time is a father husband or an employee so some person possess different behavior in different situation now this phenomena is called polymorphism an operation may exhibit different behavior in different instances the behavior depends upon the uh, type of data used in the operation so c++ ports operate uh, <coughs> c++ port operator overloading and function overloading these are uh, some uh, example of polymorphism first one we have operator overloading uh, by the way i have a dedicated video on operator overloading and function overloading you can check that video too if you want to grab a detailed concept of uh, function overloading and operator overloading Uh, the process of making an operator of exhibit different behavior in different instances is known as operator overloading on the other hand we have our function overloading function overloading is using a single function name to perform different type of task polymorphism is extensively used in impl implementing the inheritance for example suppose we have to write a function to add some integer uh, sometimes there are two integers sometimes there are three uh, we can write the additional method with the same name having different parameters uh, the concern method will be up, uh, will be called according to the parameter list here we have an example of of, uh, of function overloading we have our main class Uh, then inside of this we are calling uh, the same function with different parameter list so uh, you will notice this say uh, the name of function is same uh, some uh, but the parameter list is different uh, in uh, first uh, function call we have two parameter and in second function call we have three parameter now both of these function will work fine uh, so next we have inheritance Uh, the capability of a class to driven properties and characteristics from an other class is called inheritance inheritance is one of the most important feature of object oriented programming now there are some key concept to grasp uh, from the topic of inheritance we have subclass the class that inherits the properties from an other class from an other class is called the subclass or a driven class uh, then we have our superclass the class whose properties are inherited by the subclass is called the base class or superclass then we have reusability the inheritance supports the concept of reusability i when we want to create a new class and there is already a class that include some of the code that we want we can drive our new class from the existing class by doing this we are reusing the fields and methods of the existing class for example we have a, a main class or a super class of animal then we can drive the sub or driven classes from this for example we can have dog class class of cat and class of cow and we have dynamic binding in dynamic binding the code to be executed is response to the function call is de decided at run time uh, now uh, c++ have virtual function to support this Uh, then we have message passing objects communicate with an other object by sending and receiving information to each other 
a message for an object is a request for executing of a procedure and therefore will invoke a function in the receiving object that generate the desired result message passing it involves specifying the name of the object name of the function which we want to invoke and the information to be sent so uh, we have discussed all the characteristics of uh, object oriented programming language so that's all from today's video uh, if you like the video then please bell that like button and don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel so i will see you in my next video till then take care and thanks for watching